Hello, YouTubers. Um, once I get another disappointment, I order this uh, another one of my in when as I stated in one of my videos I was gonna do. I was gonna order another one and just wanna you know keep stashing these guys for uh, future builds because I really love this case and uh, I can't stress it enough. Um, yeah, they are very very useful and gorgeous little cases but for some reason there was a damage over here something must have pressed on the box uh, I don't know something blunt and it just kept pressing and pressing and as I think the truck was rolling or whatever and the carrier just don't care they put those little guys you know they don't put a lot of love into it but uh I grabbed it like that and you see the box it looks compromised but I already told Amazon about it and hopefully they'll uh, talk to the carrier because look at that it is collapsing I didn't notice that because I grabbed it from the top here's uh, what I think they should do put one of those big plastic you know tape here one of those round tape and then just make sure that this guy is sealed so it doesn't look like uh you know anybody can just open it but right now see cool anybody can just open it do whatever they want to it and i'm gonna open it for you guys so you can see what i'm talking about the damage right here this is what it is this is how it's packaged so i packaged the same way and what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull it. And you can see the, the dents right there. Uh, sorry, and here it is. Okay. Man, it would have been so awesome if it wasn't damaged, but there it is. There it is. Is the back of the case you can see it's all dented in there it's so horrible but this is how they are also it's missing the power core for some reason i understand they're being dented or nothing but since anybody can just open them why would they take the power core or something doesn't make sense but there it has all the other accessories It has all this wiring ordeal right here. So you got all the uh, other the stickers in there so you can put uh put them alongside right here. Right here. So you can change it if you want it orange or if you want it red or blue or green. And of course the front doesn't look well, you know, it doesn't look bad. If it would have been like this, this would have been dented right here somewhere, and that would have been terrible as well. But still, look at that. That must have, must have been a force just pressing on it like that, and I said something heavy and blunt. Because if they would have opened it and damaged it, and then there would have been some scuffed on the paint. But yeah, this is the thing that sometimes you gotta put out with, you know, it's very hard to get one of these guys undamaged sometimes and it's kind of sad that, you know, they don't, they don't take good care. Yeah, they're kind of hard to do when they're new it's one handed to do this it's really hard oh jesus <clears throat> okay hold on let me put it let me put the phone down oh jesus christ that was hard i guess you gotta break him in but yeah see looks nice so. and this is what they look like 
you can tell right here. Yeah, this is the audio. This is the audio um front audio for this guys right here. And the mic. Look, didn't I tell you guys? Look how long it is. Look at that. There's the case. Just fall all the way through right there. That's a hell of a humongous. And the same thing with this guy, see? And all the way from there, all the way to there. So, yeah. For such a little case, and the audio, I think, always reaches right here. You know, so they can make it at least this big, like that. Maybe they can cut six inches off. And this guy right here just connects in this side of the board, like over here, over here. So in reality, they could have, you know, they could have just done this much, you know, like that. Take at least eight inches off it or something. And it would have been beautiful. But yeah, um, it has enough space right here for uh, some management, some cable management inside in here. Right there. You can just stash thing. It has this little grill thing in there where it stops you from pushing anything else anymore. So, yeah. But once you put the bore and everything, the uh, motherboard, it's just not enough space to put things in there. But, yeah. This is what we have so far. This is 150 water... Browns were uh, browns rated, I think it is bronze. So that's how it is. Yeah, it's bronze. Yeah, it's bronze. But still, you know, it's a very adequate power supply. Uh, it won't. It won't uh, skimp in the in the power. If you get one of those Vox Strix. Um, Asus motherboard micro ATX to go here, you know, this is This is the case for it still has the Mickey Mouse You know looking thing in there and uh, It's sad that they didn't include it because I wanted to show you guys the The cable how long it is. I don't know. It's kind of like a six footer. I believe um, I have a whole bunch of those cables lying around. They're in a box somewhere out there in the, in the other room. And just wanted to show you what this little guy looks like empty. But you see, that's the kind of misfortune that some sometimes you gotta go through, which is, you know, kind of just you know chance that the one day you're gonna get something you know good and all of a sudden it's damaged or sometimes you think it's it's gonna be fine and you're so happy to get your first one and as builders this is what we go through every time you, you order anything it's just a it's a chance things but this is not Amazon. Uh, there are some items that I have ordered from them, which um, they look damaged before they send it to us. Like the chipping box is so good, but then the item is damaged inside. I don't know if they do it deliberately or they disgruntle or whatever, but uh yeah and then we the consumers or the customers we gotta pay for it you know and i don't think it's right and then amazon in this case it wasn't their fault this was the carrier's fault and shame on you ups for actually damaging this beautiful case look at that you know wow it's pretty pretty bad and I have had a few of them. I order a whole bunch and like four of them has been damaged or missing parts or something's going on. And I'm not going to like keep them, you know, my dad, you know, I keep the ones that are good and I send the ones that are bad. And that's pretty much the game that we have to go and play with the vendors, the chipping department, the carriers and all that, you know, and 
the ones that suffer the most are the consumers or the customers because we're the ones who have to deal with all this stuff and sometimes they try to blame it on us or whatnot you know saying that we're to blame I mean they don't say it all right at the bat but it's kind of like you know if you have all this parts that you order and it just doesn't look good you know you start developing a rep with them thinking that you know you're doing this deliberately but why would you do something like this deliberately it doesn't make sense unless you're one of those psychopaths that want to play around with your time and everybody else's time but i tell you straight out i will not damage <laughs> a work of art like this deliberately that would be insane i mean right now i feel really devastated for this right here you know and the other one that I got was here damaged right here real bad and the other ones had missing parts and the other one I believe had a I don't know if it was scratch I don't know something happened to it that I wasn't gonna have it you know I I want to grab this off my shelf and I wanted to have all the necessary components I wanted to look nice and pristine and, and you know, I just, I just don't want it to look so terrible. And just in case you guys think that, you know, you know, I, I don't love this case, I do. Because there's another one right there, and I ordered that one from um, eBay. And, you know, the box yeah, it looks kind of shabby a little bit here in this corner or that. But the case inside looks good. So if it looks good and the box looks bad, I mean, I understand some wear and tear in the box, you know. I'm not going to send it back. I'm going to keep it. But this guy sold me this case under the pretend that it was a silver one. And I ended up paying a little bit more for it, thinking it was going to be the silver one. Because he had the silver picture on it. And I'm like, are you serious? Oh man, I was so devastated because it wasn't a silver because I, I do have a, already a, a lot of this black ones. I, I have like four or five now. But I want to get five more, like I said. And when the silver one shows up in here, I'm going to order me 10 of those because I just want to have them for this sort of build. You know, I think this is the best home theater PC case I have ever seen it's linder you know it doesn't occupy that much space it looks real nice you can RGB it real nice like I showed you guys on the uh, other videos and this chopping in one little tiny little guy is freaking awesome I love it I love every single thing about it uh, see I love the black and you can just put everything black or you can match it with red inside of the I mean you can do pretty much a lot of things but but look at that guys wow what a sad thing <sighs> and the Amazon lady was very you know understanding of what have happened to my little case as I ordered you know this is I don't know if this is the fourth one that I return or the fifth one, I don't know, but I will keep returning them uh, if they are damaged. I am not going to keep something that is damaged or something that is missing parts, and it is what it is. Whether it's Amazon's fault or whether it's the vendor's fault or, or the one the build it or whether it's the carrier's fault, I don't, I don't care whose fault it is just don't want it to be my fault because it's not my fault so there anyways I don't use this wire right here because of the color um, I prefer the braided ones and I, I've been trying to find the SATA power cords in a more uh, uh, you know they look real nice they look like this kind of wires like this everything black so that way you know I I can do 
aesthetically it looks more pleasing even you'll never see the wiring through the back but if somebody removed their back panel i want them to enjoy my work i wanted to go like oh wow look at this even in the back he included some cool looking wires not this muster looking things uh, they do work but things have you know move forward and people people are looking for something that looks better and it has you know i'm not saying that they don't work but i always keep them for spare for whatever for the computers that might i just want to fix them right away and and i don't charge the customer nothing just to in fact i just give this guys to them i never i never charge them for this i just put them on and boom the computer's back on track for free that's the kind of guy i am but anyways, there it is. <sighs> Sorry, Amazon, if I blamed you that you were the one who did this. But I do not know who took the power cord. Which I was going to show my viewers uh, how long it is. And how nice it is to have one wire for power in there. Still having the brick. And, you know, just power supply. It's just all you need bronze rated anyways i'm not gonna open this because i'm sending this back and i don't want it to like i won't be able to put it back in there because it's all denned up but i'm sure if you just order one of this back everything in, in there will be okay which that's what i'm hoping you know maybe they can resell it again or something and then just include another cord power cord and now uh, until it's straight out i got like like 30 some some of those power cords are I keep ordering because sometimes my bricks you can see right here uh, this Dell brick does employ that kind of a Mickey Mouse deal too and this core right here lights up right here so yeah and I have a I have a core here for it that I it's one of the ones I order. I make fun of on my room. And there's one right here that is really short. You can see you know this is the one that came with the brick. See how short it is, you know. I don't I don't like doing that. That's why I order like a whole bunch of those wires so that I can uh, when I do those builds, like, um, let me show you the build I'm talking about. This builds right here, they just require that 9 volt, uh, just like this one right here. Let me show you guys. So when I do those builds, uh, you grab this 19 volt, 19 point something, I don't know what they are, but... And just put them right there. See? See, there you go. Let's see, look at that. See, and that's how I power these little tiny machines. I'm gonna do a review on this machine right here. Uh, my baby girl and I built it together. So it has a has a lot of special sorry about that has a lot of special uh, kind of thing for us um hdmi does have the dvi and it has all the other audio and all that in the nook nick I mean, sorry the nook. <laughs> this nick right here for the Oh, it has wireless internet as well, so. But there is the DC 19 volt that I use those bricks for that. But yeah, I'll do a review on this one. And I believe it has a, 
Core i5. Yeah, it's a Core i5. Yep. I ordered the stickers right here. Windows 10 Pro. And this one is from the MacBook. You've seen me play around with this guy. And it has this on the front. Oh, I'm doing a review of it. Anyways, I'll do. A, I'll open it up for you guys and light it up for you guys. But this is all about this case right here, right now. This is why sometimes it's hard for me to just order stuff from Amazon because I don't know what I'm gonna be getting. It's either their fault or it's either the carrier's fault and I'm pretty much fed up sometimes. I don't know what to do. They lost a lot of my business because of that. And yeah, I have to order things sometimes from other companies. And it's sad because they do have a killer return um, if you have an issue, but that doesn't do me any good if they, everything they're going to send me is busted, you know. They put things together, things that are very sensitive, electrostatically sensitive, uh, M.2 uh, SSDs, uh, RAM, all that stuff, and they put it with tools. You know, sometimes I order a combination of things, and sometimes I want to order a hard drive here and there. I'm thinking they're going to separate them, but no, they send them all in one box. <laughs> you can't put computer parts with tools and, you know, magnetic, um, you know, magnetic trays, all that stuff. It's just not right. I don't know. Anyways. So there you go. I'm going to be sending this. Uh, it's already been. Uh, they're gonna come and pick it up. So yeah, it's pretty sad, but that's what happens. So hope you enjoy this uh, unboxing review of the Inwin chopping. Mini ITX enclosure or case. Very sad, very distraught, and I need to order at least two of them. Hopefully, maybe I need to order three. Maybe two of them will be damaged and one of them be 